Good morning. Good morning. I'm sleeping, but I heard it raining, so I was gonna come get you, but I guess you It got was home. absolutely pouring, so I set out to do my five miles this morning, and I thought, I, I wanna completely run the last mile, and it just started raining in like mile three. So I was like, screw it, I'm, I'm already wet. Like, I'm gonna take a shower when I get in. I'm finishing this workout and I am running it. And I mean, I prayed through that entire thing, but I got it done. Because one of the things that I was talking to my daughter-in-law about was, she said, if you're gonna run, even if you slow your pace, just don't stop that stance. Like, just continue running, even if you have to slow down, but you don't wanna stop and, and stop running. So I just didn't do that, and we got through it, and yeah, I need a shower, but I did it. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics. And every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where we're going to find all our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. You're way too awake for me. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I was just thinking that it is so cute how opposites attract. Because, yes, I am a morning person and you are a night owl. And somehow, we got together. Well, it's not that... Well, you weren't a morning person when we met. It's true. I was like an afternoon person. You didn't wake that's up till noon back that's then. That's still not a night person. <laughs> Well, my thing is I just had a lot of work to do. And then I'm working on our brisket because our That's brisket's been work. going since noon yesterday. And it's going to be so tender. I'm shooting for a 24-hour smoke. And then I was working on other stuff and I was working on keto on the couch. And I didn't go to bed till 3 o'clock. So I'm going back to bed. Good. Do me a favor and sing your Oh Happy Day song. Oh Happy Day. Because today is a happy day. Brisket day. Today is day 12 of the no joke challenge it is the 12th. and day 12 of the chopped challenge and that means it's brisket day it, i'm so excited it all goes down from here no i'm just kidding like there's <laughs> lots of good ingredients for the rest of the month but brisket day is a day to be celebrated i have been waiting for this like i was like can we have more than one brisket day sure. i'm so excited our brisket has been going since 12 o'clock yesterday i'm trying a new technique it's this is a long one this is a 24 hour smoke and i'm not using any kind of internal meat uh probes to find out the temperature i literally ran it for 12 hours that's why i was up all night i'm cooking a brisket uh, and then when I, got, when I got in bed, I smelled like wood. I was like, oh, I really should be that's taking why a shower. I, that's why I slept so well, because it was like I was cozy. Campfire. I was cozied up with a campfire. Yeah, so after 12 hours, I wrapped it in butcher paper. And then we're going to start eating this thing somewhere around noon today. So early lunch, early meal. But I have a lacrosse game tonight. It's district playoffs. So I've got to leave from Miami at 4 o'clock for a 6 o'clock game. But I'm super excited for brisket. And then tomorrow's a good day, too. We're actually going to do a video today on how to do it. But tomorrow is wing day. Yes, wing day is also a great day. So, yeah, this week is full of, like, fun foods for our Chop the Challenge. Let us know down below in the comment section, are you enjoying it? And what has been your favorite day so far for the CHOP Challenge? It's getting harder and harder to say what my favorite day is because I feel like the next day is the greatest day. But I, I really feel like brisket day is awesome. I picked uh, wings for tomorrow, obviously, to make it Tuesday. as easy as possible for people. If you don't want to make wings at home, that's going to be the cheapest Buffalo Wild you know, wing day. But... I think you're going to find that our recipe is really easy to make. Well, here's the good thing is we're having brisket today, but we're going to have to have wings today too because we need to film tomorrow's video with wings. So we got to eat wings today 
And then this is maybe my, do B dubs tomorrow. This is my not crying about that face. So I need to actually run to BJ's to get some wings because wings are expensive. So when yeah. you just go to BJ's, it's usually the cheapest place to get it. It's one of the big wholesale clubs. I'm also going to Home Depot because I am sick and tired of our closet doors. I'm sick and tired of them because this house was built in like 1972. When people had four outfits and that was it. Right. And so when you open up my closet door, the door opens in. And so that means you can't get to the entire rack behind it unless you go into the closet and then close the door on yourself. But then half the time I can't even open the door because there's clothes hanging on the rack there. So I'm taking down my door and I'm going to accordion doors. Do you want an accordion door on US too or are you going to keep it the way you have it? If you if we can, if you find it like reasonable enough. They're not expensive. They're like 50 bucks. I'm going to get the best one they have because accordion doors aren't like super durable. But I'm going to get what they have. And then at least we can get in our closets. When we cleaned them out, like we've done the best that we can do cleaning it out. I mean, there was a purge last week that was of epic proportions. I think we have reclosed everyone in our extended family right. because when you pass stuff down, there's always somebody that's like just getting into that size, especially if you have like nephews, right. you know, who can benefit from whatever clothes, you know, that you have to share. And, you know, there's ladies in my life that it's like, okay, I have not worn this pair of pants or this shirt in six months. It's not always just a size thing. It's like, I don't wear that anymore. It's like, if I'm not, if this is just gumming up my closet and I'm never going to wear it, like just Pass it along. Yeah. I thought about like tearing down the wall between our two closets, but then I just have no closet. Like you just take the whole thing. Be like a Carrie Bradshaw closet. <laughs> okay. It is 925. That means we have the keto on the couch premiere in Yay. 35 minutes. So hopefully you guys are joining for that. And um, remember mm. every Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern time, we premiere keto on the couch, which was pre-filmed. But we are live in the chat. But before I head to Home Depot and we get ready for this the premiere. Good this morning. Let's talk about our coffee. So Rachel has got um, just, it's just the, it's not even Dunkin' Donuts. You see that Dunkin' Donuts container on there, but it's not really it's Dunkin' off. Donuts. It's the <laughs> coffee shop blend from Sam's Club because it's like $10 cheaper per bag and it's, it tastes the same. It's Dunkin' Donuts. It, it tastes the same. And then uh, it's got what, just like three pumps of the chocolate espresso mm. that one it's really really good so we put one pump into Is this one yes that one we put one pump into the actual frothing milk and then like two to three pumps usually into the coffee itself because you want to taste it there, not it just is, in the frothing milk. It's a fun coffee. And then the almond milk is obviously just froth and a frother. I'll leave a link for that frother down below. Somebody asked like, why do we froth it? It's because it's fun. I mean, it's like having whipped cream, but Look it's not fancy. whipped cream. And you feel like you go into a fancy coffee shop and yeah. it's just, it does add a little bit of flavor. But again, you ne didn't you ever like whipped cream on top of your hot chocolate or something? I mean, what do stickers just, do? Right. Stickers do nothing. No. But I want them. You love stickers. I love stickers. You love it when YouTubers send us stickers, right? We, we're Patreons with a bunch of different people. And uh, yeah, we get stickers That's all why the time. we ordered stickers. That's why we just ordered stickers. Our patrons are going to have stickers for the meatheads. I'm so excited. They're coming this Wednesday. It does nothing. But I love it. Yes. I love them. I want them. I want my, I want my cream whipped. So my coffee is a coffee with one raw egg in it, blended in the blender. And a scoop of Perfect Keto Salted Caramel Collagen. And guess what? We have a sponsor for today. Yay! The sponsor is Perfect Keto. Now, if you don't know what Perfect Keto is, Perfect Keto is an awesome nutrition uh, company. They have a lot of great keto products. Some of our favorite things are, we love, obviously, the collagen. This is one of the old style containers. Yeah. The new style containers are the big wider ones, which are nice because you can get your hand in there. But we go through the strawberry and the peanut There's butter. There's no peanut butter left. I was like, very upset. At a breakneck pace, and this is like our fallback flavor. Well, here's the thing. There's there's no peanut butter left, but peanut butter in the coffee, not my favorite. Strawberry in the coffee, not my favorite. I like, I like the strawberry in the peanut butter in my shakes. Yeah, that's really But good. when it comes to coffee, salted caramel, chocolate, vanilla. Those are my go-tos for in coffee. They also have MCT oil powder. If you're trying to get a little bit of extra fat, sometimes you want to up your ketones, especially if you are having like brain cognitive function, things like that. You want to have some medical reasons to have really high ketones. MCT oil is going to help. 
MCU oil powder is much easier on the stomach than using liquid MCT oil. This was every single test morning. Like Caleb would have yep. a shake with this before he would do a test at school. Yep. Every they, single one. They also have delicious bars and cookies. And guess what? Next week, they have a secret new product coming out. Really? So make sure you subscribe to our channel and you hit that bell button for the notification because we're going to have a review of it. We're also going to have a very special sale price on that new product. And I'm excited about this Me one. Too. It's something I always used to eat. Something I've been experimenting with them lately is these uh, blood sugar support uh, tablets. These things are really good. Again, they have them down below. You can use the code 2 Crazy Ketos to get a discount off of your entire order. We can actually watch them work at this point. And that's what I did was so um, I noticed that my glucose on my CGM was high and I didn't understand why it was high and it was concerning me. Uh oh, we have a guest. Um, it was concerning me a little bit. Turns out that it was probably something wrong in the fluid of my arms because my blood glucose was actually registering in the 70s, but my CGM was showing almost 100. But I took some of these and it like dropped like 20 points. Which is huge. So that was really awesome. Sit down, madam. So I'm going to run to Home Depot. You are going to get ready for the premiere of Keto on the Couch. And, and then we're going to come back later with a full day of eating. And you are getting a bath. Caleb is giving you a bath. So I stopped over here at BJ's to get the wings and I was looking for hot dogs because hot dog day is coming up and I'm trying to figure this one out. So I'm looking for hot dogs that are like clean ingredients and they really don't have anything here. But I look Hebrew National and it says right on here, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors, no fillers, no bright products and no gluten. But then when you look in the ingredients, it says it contains soy protein. That to me sounds like a filler. Once again, you've got to be careful when you come shopping in the store because take a look at this stuff. Fit Kitchen Low Carb Lifestyle. So when you first look at the box, it's awesome. It's Fit Kitchen Low Carb Lifestyle, Meat Lovers Cauliflower Pizza Bowl. Of course, it's made by Stouffer's. Uh, pepperoni, Italian sausage, cauliflower, mozzarella cheese, and tomato sauce. 18 total carbohydrates, 13 net carbs. Uh, look, look at the ingredient list. I mean, that's, that's a long list of ingredients. I see Dexter's just shouting out at me. And then looking at the back of the nutrition, four servings per container, serving size is one package, 430 calories, 19 total carbs, six grams of dietary fiber, and nine grams of sugar. The premiere went well. I love the premiere so much. I just like talking to everybody and it gets our Monday going in the right direction. It's kind of funny because like Mondays is like a busy live stream day. So you got autumn at 9.30, then you got a break from autumn at 9.30 to jump on our premiere at 10, which ends at like 11.05 to jump right onto the Keto Chow live stream at 11.15. But it reminds me of all of the morning shows that I used to watch when the boys were really little, right? Like Regis and Kelly, that sort of thing. So I just have a good time with it. So I went to BJ's. I got some chicken wings. I found a couple of things that people are gonna think are keto and they're not very keto. Very hard to find clean hot dogs. One of the things that I thought was interesting is Hebrew National, which you think like clean product, right? They answer to a higher power. On the front, it says like no fillers. And then when you look at the ingredients, it says soy protein. Doesn't that filler. sound like a filler to you? Yes. Cause it sounds like a filler to me. Yes. So I didn't find any hot dogs. I think we're gonna end up going to Costco and getting those big giant ones because those are actually pretty clean. Uh, but, so I heard back from the lady at NutriSense because yesterday I've been fasting. I'm currently, I don't even know how long. Let's see, it was, I've been fasting since eight o'clock Saturday night. So eight to eight is 24 hours and it's, so what, we're at 36, almost 40 hours fasted. And my glucose was going up and up and up yesterday. Like most of yesterday, according to the CGM, my glucose was anywhere between 110 and 120 most of the day. At one point it dropped down to 85 when I took those, uh, what you call it, the glucose support pills, these things right here. I took some of these and it dropped. So I was concerned and then finally, at night I said, hey, wait a second. I have a blood stick. I've got the Keto Mojo. Let me go ahead and check that. And I also have the Freestyle Libre actual little monitor from my Freestyle Libre. So I checked that first and my glucose was a 73, but the CGM was showing 100. Wow. And then I said, let me check our wings are cooking. 
So then I checked the um, Keto Mojo. Four tests, all four tests between 72 and 76. So I'm like, something's off. What's the deal? Now I do remember when I used to use the other one, you know, the, the Dexcom 6, I always had to calibrate it because it was always off. So I heard back from the nurse, which is what's really cool about NutriSense is you have a dietitian like nurse who's monitoring stuff. And she said, well, you said you're fasting. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, remember, we are measuring the glucose in your fluids in your arm, not in your, not blood. In your blood. So if you're fasting, then you need to hydrate even more. She said you need about 30% more water coming in. Because what's happening is, is since you're measuring the fluids, but the fluids are going down, huh. it's going to show a higher concentration of glucose. So you're probably off by about 20 points. So she's like, if you were to drink an excess amount of fluids, you would see it come back down. And it makes sense because I did not drink a lot of water yesterday. I drank some electrolytes, but not a whole bunch. But the few times where you can see it dropping down into the 90s was when I was drinking some electrolytes. So it's really interesting that if you're gonna fast with it, and that's one of the reasons that like you'll see it go higher. Like you said yours was high yesterday because yes. you didn't eat until five o'clock. No. Because you, you're you at church, so you're not drinking as much as you normally are. So it's very interesting to see it like in terms of a trend. because right. and that's I'm, what you're most importantly looking at is trends. Because I'm still seeing that in the day it's lower than it is when I'm sleeping. Right. And we're trying to get better sleep because I think that my sleep is just jacked. Right. But I do better when we use the sleep aid, but I don't always use it every single night. And the nights that I'm not using it, I see that it's, I'm going, going up. up. Oh my gosh, the brisket is done and it looks so stinking amazing. I cannot wait for him to slice this up. What are you doing? I was throwing the paper away, but I noticed that there were some little fatty deposits in the paper <laughs> that I did not want to miss. So we had Fennel Express showed up. I thought it was my battery, mm -hmm. but there was actually something even better than my battery. What's even better than your battery? Keto Brands. Yeah. But I don't know what kind, so let's see what kind's in there. Let's open that sticker up. Now my hands are really greasy, so let me find some sizzles. Please be some new flavor. Please be some new flavor. I don't know, is it a new flavor? It would be great if it was maple pecan, but I don't think it is. I see some chocolate peanut butter cup. Oh, yum. Chocolate malt. Oh, I like those too. Peanut butter, which Ooh. is your, one of your faves. I like the chocolate peanut butter better than the peanut butter. Coconut cream. Toasted almond coconut. Ah, uh, these are all yum. Mocha cream. Cookies and cream crunch. These are all good. Ooh, and stickers. Stickers? There's a sticker. So here's the question while we're waiting for the brisket. You wanna give these away? Yeah, let's give them away. Let's give them away, because I have a lot of keto bricks. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna hit the like button on this video. You're gonna make sure you subscribe to our channel. You're gonna hit the bell button for our channel, and then you're gonna leave a comment down below. Okay. And then we're going to pick the winner. I don't know. I'm gonna put the date right here across the bottom because I'm not sure when I'm gonna pick the winner because I don't know when this video is gonna come out. So right. how does that sound? Okay, sounds good to me. So make sure you do all that and you can win this pack of keto bricks that they just sent us. I wanna eat brisket. Yes. I see some gorgeous meat in there. Look at that. <gasps> Nice smoke ring. Look at that. I am so ready to eat now. Do I get first taste? It is hot. Mmm. Yep, it was worth the wait. Look at them tearing that thing apart. Is that good, Grayson? Grayson, is that good? Say hello. Say hello. Say no. I'm gonna eat my chicken leg. There's something just odd about birds who eat birds. Grayson's favorite thing though is chicken wings. He loves chicken wings. It's Absolutely super creepy. So we did make a mistake. I thought tomorrow was chicken leg day or chicken wing day and it's next week. It's turkey tomorrow. So tomorrow's turkey. So we made the chicken wing recipe for next week though. So I'm not mad. It'll come out, but they're delicious. Joe, what's wrong? I'm so stuffed. 
Like, so stuffed. I mean, I didn't even eat that much. I mean, yes, I was on, like, a mini fast. Mostly because I was worried about blood sugar that wasn't really a problem. <laughs> but I have, like, two of these wings left. I mean, I only... Look, I only put three. And I don't have any room for them. And I really, really, really want to eat them. But, like, I'm stuffed. And I didn't even have that much brisket. Like, Beh not even a half a pound. Behind you, I'm noticing a little uh, shark... That would probably be fine to wake up from a nap and then uh, help you out with those chicken wings. No, no. I mean, the bark on this brisket was amazing. Caleb I, loved it. I had so much like salt and pepper and garlic on the outside. It had like a really nice bark, but I really want to eat more and I can't. And now I feel like I'm going to go into like a little bit of a food coma so I can get ready for my game. Finally. It's here. It's here. It literally took two weeks to go from California to here. Not including the three days it took. How did it take only three days to fly from China to California? But it took two weeks to go from California to here. Part of the problem is, I guess the labels kept going bad. Because if you look on like the tracking, it would be like, label unreadable, print a new label. So look, it's got like three of my address label on here where they had to keep like putting a new label on here. So I'm in a little bit of a food coma, but I am going to unbox this thing at some point before I leave for my game and go see if my bike actually works. That brisket was so good. I mean, it was definitely worth waiting for. You know, I had that fast and that fast really wasn't planned. Uh, basically what happened was I wasn't hungry. And then by the time I was hungry, it was like nine o'clock at night. And I realized like, hey, it's been like 24 hours and I haven't eaten and I don't really want to eat now because I'm going to be going to bed soon. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to wait for tomorrow. And I'm glad I did. The brisket was definitely worth it. But I will say I did this experiment with going 24 hours at 190 degrees. And it was good, it was tender, but I don't know if I would do it again because I didn't notice that much of a difference from my normal way I cook it, which is around 225 degrees for like 15 hours. So I just don't think it was worth the extra weight. Plus, I went through a lot of pellets and I didn't realize how many pellets I was going through. And so I started running low and I opened up the lid to check to see if the fire pot was still going. And that caused a flare up at the very end, which caused the point to get charred underneath. So it kind of ruined the very tip of it. That's kind of disappointing because it was doing so well. And then that last like half hour to an hour, but while we were waiting to eat it, it, the, it just got really hot in there and the flames came up from underneath. So that's disappointing, but hey, it was my fault because I shouldn't have opened up the smoker, especially at the end, because anytime you open up the smoker, you're going to let the heat escape, and then it's going to adjust the temperature and start feeding more pellets to bring temperature back up. But overall, it was really, really good. So I'm headed down to Miami right now. It's uh, 5 o'clock. My game's at 6. I'm about 20 minutes away at this point. And uh, this is a district playoff game, so lacrosse is almost over. You have district playoffs this week, you have regionals next week, or sectionals next week. Then I'm going to New York for 10 days, so that's going to be an interesting drive. Uh, I am excited about going to New York to visit my mom, though. But it's been uh, an interesting day, to say the least. Like, lots of little problems here and there. The chicken coop motor, I guess, the door for the motor isn't working for some reason. Yesterday, I noticed the batteries were dead, so I replaced the batteries, but I had to hold the door open to let them out, and I wrapped it around, like, to hold it open while I had to go get new batteries, and I guess I forgot about it, and so when the door tried to close, I don't know what happened, but now it won't close. It'll open, but it won't close anymore, so I think the motor is bad. I don't know if it's my fault or if the motor just got shot. I don't know, so I got to call the company. And then sometime during the day, the battery backup system on my computer, I guess, tripped. And that caused my computer to shut down randomly. And when I turn it back on, one of my hard drives, I have like a four hard drive RAID. One of them's not working anymore. And so I have five terabytes of data that is gone. 
Fortunately, I have a backup, but my backup is on an old-fashioned spinning hard drive, so it's going to take about, I don't know, 20 hours to transfer that information over. And that happened right as I was heading out the door. So it's like where I want to sit at home and fix it. I'm like, I can't because I have to get down here to Miami. So so after the game, I'm going to go back home and then I'll probably have something else to eat. Uh, hopefully we don't get done too late. The game will probably be over somewhere around 7.30. So with any luck, I'll be home by 8.30. Good morning. Good morning. You got me like licking the end of this thing. <laughs> No more? There's no more. I'm kind of sad about it because I really like this salted dark chocolate espresso. And I haven't seen it at that like... it's like impossible to find. I haven't I seen it. I got it from it their at, website. Yeah, because I have not seen this at TJ Maxx. It's really good though. I saw two baby burrowing owls on my walk today. They're like little floof balls. And it was like... The entire reason why I wanted to go on my walk today. Like, it was totally worth it to get the exercise in just to see them because they were super cute. My hair is so jacked <laughs> because of the headphones. Like, it's so, so bad. And my legs hurt so bad right now because I've kind of challenged myself to do like a little extra exercises on my walk. Right. And for every park bench that I saw, I had to do 10 squats That's and there, good. there are a lot of park benches I found. <laughs> How was your last night? Cause I went to bed before I even saw you. Yeah. So obviously this is uh, the next day Day two. because I had a game last night. I'm drinking some daily electrolytes. Talk about hurting. I think I'm losing my fat from places that I don't want to lose it from. Like your butt. And like, it's like bony. Yeah. And so it's hurting sitting down. I'm like, I need the cushion. Like, can, can I lose the man boobs and keep the cushion in my butt? No. And so here's the funny thing. And I think that this is true universally because we were talking about how women lose their boobs first, right? Right. We lose the top half. I think you guys lose the bottom half first. Have you seen like guys that are just like a, built like a chicken? I know. Is that what's happening? You feel like it's just coming because you don't need to lose anything in your thighs. You're no. like... I need to lose these. Ripped thighs. Uh, you lost them. I gained them. <laughs> High five. <laughs> we kept them in the family though. So so I'm having some uh, Perfect Keto daily electrolytes again. Per Perfect Keto, thank you very much for sponsoring today's yes. full day of eating vlog. But after the game, I never, ever go out. I always just want to get home to you, right? I love that. And so two of the coaches from two other teams who just happened to be there. One of the teams was hosting the, the, the uh, playoff game. And the other one is just a, another school down the street. And he happened to have attended this school growing up. Wow. And so now he's the head coach of another of school. The, of the rival team. Well, now, yeah, of a rival team. But so they came up to us afterwards and like, hey, you guys, you want to go out for a drink? Like, it's on us. Wow. And so I'm like, you know. You know what? I'll go. I want to. I don't get to see my friend very often because I don't get to work a lot of games with him because he's a senior official. And, he's, and one of the reasons he's here is to try to like help some of the younger guys, like Anthony and them, come up the ranks which and is, learn the game right. Which is amazing because you need that. Right. You, right. You need that person who is like, we want to take this to the next generation. Yeah. So I went out and like I was going to have like one drink, which my drink was a soda. Like they're all yeah. Drinking beer. You can go out to drink without drinking right? alcohol. And, <laughs> and like I didn't, and I was going to get wings, but I'm like, oh, I got all that delicious food at home, and I'm only going to stay for one. And the one, I mean, again, didn't have anything, but. Um, the one turned into like two and a half, almost three hours. And wow. it was cool because here are two lacrosse officials and two coaches. And we're just sitting there. We were having a really good time. And I guess like somebody said something to one of the managers. Like they thought we were baseball people because we're in Miami. And like Miami is like way into baseball. Your outfit like, didn't give Cubans. it away? Well, none of us were wearing it. Oh, outfit. you like, changed your shirt. I took my shirt. stripes off. And, um. And was, he came over and like, no. And he's like, wow, like officials and, and coaches at the same table. Can can they make the piece? But it's good because like, that's what I like about lacrosse. Because what I like about lacrosse is it, there's a nice like camaraderie. Mm -hmm. And like, you can be mad at me when we're on the field. And, and, it's over. and then the second we're off the field, it's like, hey, let's let's go grab a beer. Yeah. You know, and just, and, and it was fun because 
they were picking our brain about why do we make certain calls? Yeah. And why do we let certain things go? Well, and then we were and we were asking them like what what can what can we do to be a better official for you? Well, a smart coach is going to ask you how can we get better? Right. And like, what are you looking for? Right. Because there's a lot of rules in the rule book. Right. But there are certain things that are just pet peeves right. of officials. Right. And I think that a return to respect well, for the for the coaches and the kids. That's what we were talking about. Would go a long way. Yeah. And it's it was interesting because I finally said, I'm said, like I said, here's the thing. 90% of the coaches don't know the color of the rule book. And they're like, well, you're probably right. Yeah. And so he was asking it, and my, and my partner looked at him and goes, look at everything from an advantage to disadvantage. Yeah. Did you gain an advantage doing what you did? Yeah. Or did you disadvantage the other team? Because if that did not happen, we're probably not going to call it unless it's major, like somebody's going to get hurt. Yeah. But it's like in a lacrosse, you're not allowed to push in the back. But if I kind of go like this and you don't move like you don't push forward did i technically push you in the back yeah of course i did but did i gain an advantage or did i disadvantage you because my hand touched your back no then leave it alone right well it's kind of interesting because i think that you can bring that into your life right right like the thought that i'm meditating on my action my decision did i create an advantage for my health goals right. or did I just give an advantage or, or did, did I create a disadvantage for my excuses or did I give it an advantage? Right. Like what am I trying to achieve? And I think sometimes like this morning I wasn't super as excited as in past days to like get up for some reason I was actually like having thoughts of maybe just one more hour I could sleep in or, you know, I could just wait or do I need to do this every single day? Like I was just kind of entertaining those thoughts, but I had to come to the, to the realization, like, this is not helping. Right. This is not helping me to like sit here and entertain and make a table for my excuses. Just get up. And your goal is to get out there and get this done. Yeah. And so I think that you don't want to entertain like, you know, or give advantage to your excuses or the opponent to your health goals. Yeah. While you were gone last night, and I'm so glad that you got to hang out, I got to spend some time with Kayla. We watched So I Married an Axe Murderer. <laughs> it's interesting to like watch it through the eyes of your child that's right. seeing it. And so he goes, it, you know, are 90s movies just all about references to old movies? Because, like, they would make a lot of jokes about an old movie, and I thought that was funny. And then Anthony came home and was excited to share that he had basically done something that I had never done. And that is, he was the foreman on a, on a, uh, on a, a jury. jury. And so that was kind of that a... was a mistake, right? <laughs> like, Anthony's, no. Anthony's a rules follower. So I, I could just you see don't... Anthony being a juror. And I, I'm going to talk to him about it. I mean, I got to go to work. But... Uh, I was just thinking when, when he said that, like, oh, I, I'm on a jury. And I'm like, wow, they're going to regret that decision. Because Anthony's a rules follower, and he's going to be like, he's the letter of the law guy, right? That's what makes him such a good official. He is. And it's so it's interesting when you talk to him about the case, because he is is really, like, listening to, tell me what the rules are. Like, how am I supposed to make my decision tell me the rules and like, tell me what I'm supposed to take out. Like, you you know, take out the emotion and get it, dwindle it down to like, what is the rule? What are we supposed to be doing? Because I want to do my job well. And it was exciting to see our kid come home and be really proud that he had done his civic responsibility. Right. He didn't put it off. And he said that there were a lot of people there that were kind of trying to have excuses of why I can like, put off this jury duty and like come back at a later time. And he was like, I just want to get in there and like get it done. do the work and, and get it done. So, okay. so yeah, in the end, I didn't need anything else yesterday. Did you have anything before? I, I had a pistachio keto chow. Uh, I want to call it pudding, but was it was it so easy that even, even Rachel, Rachel could, could make it? it. Yes, well, it good was. Good job. Thank you. Our custard. Our custard. I think so. is what we refer to it as. Well, that's going to be the end of this 15 minute morning rant. And, <laughs> 
Uh, now, if you like seeing videos like this, full day of eating videos, check out some of the other ones that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.